Bam, right there. How's it going, beautiful people? I hope everyone can uh, see this well. I think so. This is Jose Trujillo, of course. The greatest living artist in the world. <laughs> Today I want to talk to you guys about something, something, uh, something very simple. It's just composition and art, okay? It's, uh, we're going to talk a little bit about theory, because some people seem to be bothered by theory. They're like, I, I need some theory in my life. I don't like all this freedom you're, you're telling me to have. I hate all this freedom. Give me theory. I want theory. I want to be taught something. So, for those of you who are interested in the whole je ne sais quoi, the, the theory, here we go. Okay, this is composition and it's the rule of thirds. I, I, I even hate the freaking name, the rule, the rule, you know, because I mean, we're artists, we're rule breakers, ah, whatever, you know, but, <laughs> but I guess, you know, there's a, there's a rule to be followed, so, so, uh, uh, it's, it, it just, you know, the, 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 I'm not even going to go into why they call it the rule. I guess I will. Let me go into it. <laughs> It's a proven method, uh, a proven way for, for artwork to, for scenery, right? Whether it's photography, uh, anything, right? Especially photography and painting, uh, to be placed pleasing to the eye. It works well, there's a flow to it. And, and this flow is usually called composition, right? There's different, there's different ways, there's different things about composition. But uh, this one is called the rule of thirds. And really all it is, I mean, it's, people make it sound like this, this, this big deal, right? Like the, the rule of thirds, man, the rule of thirds, you know? <laughs> it really means just this, look. Somewhat like that. It's like playing cat, ah, gato. Okay, all it really means is that you place this line, right? in on your canvas whether you're doing this or you're doing some uh, portrait it doesn't matter it's still the same thing you're really dividing it like that okay where the lines intersect where they meet okay these are your focal points focal points okay these focal points also known as hot points some people call it hot points hot points <laughs> I just love it when some people talk about this stuff because they make it sound like like they make it sound like we believe in science. <laughs> so all it really means is that when you're doing something like this, okay, something like that, <laughs> when you're gonna, you're gonna create a painting, uh, make sure you place uh, if you want to, right? <laughs> make sure you place uh, important uh, objects. Or, or forms in the painting uh, that land, they don't have to land in all four. They can, they only, you know, you, they, don't, they can only land in one if you want to. They can land in all four. Picasso is really good at making them land in, in multiples. Uh, but then again, you know, I don't know if the cat was really trying at some point, who knows? But let's say that you're gonna make a landscape, right? Well, you have your first one right here, look. Let's say, okay? It doesn't always have to be like that, right? But you can make the main tree right here. You know, you see what I mean? You get my, you get my, what is it called? My drift, I think people say, yeah, my drift. Okay, so this would be one. Bam, see, and the vertical line. See, it touches both right here. Well, it really just, it's touching the vertical line, right, right here. And this right here, it doesn't have to be right, right there. But right here, there could be a moon right here or the sun. You know, it doesn't have to be right in the place. Of course not, right? But it's just a, you know, or 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 there could be a, a yeah, pretty cool like that. Look, a little landscape, you know. Well, you can have some little mountains up here, but this is your prominent line, right? And this this is a a clear example of the rule of thirds. <laughs> I hope I make any made any sense with you guys. I think I'm, 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 I make it very simple. The simple if if it can't be simple, then then don't bother with it. You know that's the way I see it. 
So there you go. This is composition following the magical rule of thirds. All it really means, guys, once again, it's just that when you're placing something, whether you're doing something like this or a portrait, make sure that's something. You know, if you're gonna do a portrait, here, let me let me do another one. Use another canvas. I'm gonna use a this time I'm gonna use a no, I'm gonna use the same size. Bear with me, you guys. You guys need to bear with me. Yeah, I'm gonna use a small one. Bam! Okay. So there it is. There's a little little canvas right there. So in you imagine, right, let's say you're going to do a portrait, no? Let's just imagine it, right? So you imagine whether it's a cameo, a bus, whatever. Uh, I'll talk to you guys. For those of you who don't know what that is, I'll talk to you guys about it. Um, in other videos. I used to be a portrait painter. I still am, I guess, but I used to do that only. So this is uh, the rule of thirds again, right? And if you're going to do a portrait, let's say that you're going to do a portrait, right? Uh, a, a full figure, let's call this, because because if you just do a face, it, it automatically lands in the rule of thirds. That's how it, that's how symmetrical and perfect the human body is. But if you do a, a full figure, let's say you you put the head right here, you know, this is the guy's head or the girl's head, you know, and then you're like, ah, oh, here is the body somewhere, you know, and then there you go. See. If you, if you pay attention to most of the, of the paintings in the museums or, you know, in, 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 in prominent galleries, especially prominent museums, any museum, you'll see because they, they, used to, they used to follow this to the T for the most part. Now, artists, we don't really follow this to the T. Some of us do, some, some don't. But, you know, it's, it's one of those things like, like uh, if nobody knows you, if you're not a famous artist and you follow the rule first, people are like, oh, oh my God, look so perfect. He's so, he did it so well, or she, you know? But if you become famous, I don't know, beyond your wildest dreams, <laughs> beyond your wildest imagination, or your, your wildest dreams, and you don't follow the rule of thirds, people are gonna say, man, he's a genius. He's so great, he didn't even, he broke the rules. <laughs> I'll leave you with that, you guys, okay? Bam, this is Jose Trujillo. Following and non-following the rule of thirds. Till next time. Take it easy.